Good evening and welcome back. I hope you did watch the last video because that was an 8-0 win against St. Johnson in Europe. Absolutely magnificent performance, well deserved. Got quite a few changes in this one. Luckily Martinelli's come back along with Xerxes, Carlos Perez is in. A little bit of change in midfield. We've got Mariba and Harrington playing in there to give some others a rest. Let's jump into the action. Against Mioga today and that last match was ridiculous. We... Well, what, you know, it's not like one of those 8 nils where we were lucky or anything like that. It was just, we were just on absolute top performance. Lots of great goals. Yeah, just made all the right decisions and things like that. But back in the league today. And uh, good to be back at home. And Martinelli's back back in as well after he's he had an injury a while ago and then had to rest him in the last match because he was on a downward red along with quite a few other players actually whoops well oh that's <laughs> I have no idea what happened there that's not the pass I was trying to play I was actually play, trying to play down the wing for McDowell on the overlap and for some reason it went that way and the keeper and the defender just run into each other. I mean, we wanted a quick start, but that's... Um, I'll take it, but... Got to feel sorry for them. It is funny, though. Look at that. Yeah, well, that's an interesting start for me, Yorker. And we are getting towards the business end of the season now. Doing very well in Europe. 10 points ahead in the league. In the Copa del Rey still. Martinelli. Or deflects for a corner. Pony McDowell's our best set piece taker on the pitch at the moment. Oh, it nearly worked. It's a very good downwards header. Was it from Cossonale? I think it was. God, their defence is all over the place today. Nicely won back by Herrera. Harrington starting today. He doesn't get too many starts. He's a very good sub. Oh, Mariba. Comfortable save there. Good effort. Got it on target. But Harrington's definitely one for the future. Nicely played by Martinelli there. He was surrounded. There's McDowell. <sighs> Mix up in defence again. Here's Harrington. Harrington again. And again, the defence can't clear it. Damn, what is going on? It's chaotic whenever it gets uh, near their box. Good tackle there, and that'll be our throw. Yeah, Mallorca have been terrible so far. Good tackle there, though. Martin Lee was just about cut inside. Poor pass. God, it's a scrappy game so far. I think we're almost uh, getting down to Mallorca's level. Oh, nice play. Xerxes, Martinelli. And there it is, too. Best move of the match by far. And Martinelli's back in the goal scoring action. It 
It's a nice ball to Martinelli. Little one two. And that first touch is what did it. Takes it away from the defenders. There's absolutely no doubt with that finish. I mean, Martinelli's looked good every time he's played, hasn't he? Um, an absolutely brilliant signing. Here's Perez. Perez. Again, defenders always find a way to block the uh, shots, which is one of my complaints about this game. Nicely played there, though. Perez. Now Xerxes, can he find Perez again? He certainly can, but it's played a bit too quick into him. Couldn't control it. Now Xerxes, Martinelli. Martinelli again. Good save that time. Yeah, Mioka being their own downfall, and actually they... 2-0 uh, probably pretty lucky at the moment for them. Good corner again. There's Perez. Oh, nice little chop to Hounton there. That was a, a nudge like. 60. Oh, I just over hit to Perez. Sexy chasing the air, defenders down and harassing them. That's what we're going to do in pressure in the defense. Do pretty well, though. But it's worked in the end. They've had to boot it up. And we've got it back now. Why are they playing it at the back like this? Makes no sense. <laughs> and it's 2-0 at half time. Dominant performance. Should have been more goals really. Only 54% possession. Thought it would be more. It was all in the attack in third. New York just couldn't get the ball out. It's hard to say whether we've played well or it's just me or been playing terribly. And I think, if anything, it's it's not helped us um, in a really weird way. Here's Perez. I should have done better there, Perez. Oh, nicely played by Herrera. Montnelli gets it back. Again, it's a heavy touch. Pass was fired in a bit too hard again. And chance for a counter-attack here. I don't know where all our defenders are. But uh, McDowell got back well. What's going on there? Martinelli now. Sexy. Martinelli. Oh, good save, but it was a bit of a weak shot. And yeah, this hasn't been a good game quality wise. What is going on? Just the ball's just bouncing all over the place. Perez, now Xerxes. Oh, that's gotta be a foul. I don't think we are going to make any subsidy because um, everyone's pretty tired. Uh, that's on the bench. So I think we're just going to leave it as is. Now Hamilton hasn't been too much on the ball in the second half. Rebet. Six seat. 
Oh, Nelly again getting pestered there. Oh, that's a poor pass from Takshara. It's just too many bodies. Perez, what a finish. Lovely first time finish there. Well, so you know, he did take a touch and then slotted it away. That first touch and then just fired it in without any hesitation. Great work from Xerxes. Yeah, one little touch. That's when we're at our best. We're playing quickly. Keeper stood no chance. And that's more like it. I think 3 0 is the least we deserve in this. I don't think we've been at our best by far. Um, but Mallorca have been terrible. Really terrible. One of the worst teams I've played. At least this performance. Harrington. Oh. Good effort. Really like Harrington as a youngster. He's, um, he's definitely one that I can see being a big powerhouse of a attack midfielder in a couple of years once he gets a bit more experience gets his skills up a little bit and what's that All right I mean they're literally trying to take it from inside the box that's a comfortable save you watch my previous videos you know what my thoughts are on uh, free kicks because Pez 2021 is just so overpowered for free kicks for the AI that is Ugh, shocking pass there but everyone seems to be a little bit tired now good tackle from Omarajic it's a poor pass though didn't really give Montelli any chance that's shocking Perez Martinelli Perez again oh just wide it was on his right that's the only thing that I think that stopped that going in Sherry hasn't got uh, up and down the flank too much today. Nice ball into Martinelli. Martinelli. Oh, what a goal that would have been. The touches for Martinelli so quick. Not just the actual pace of him, but his touches, his reactions. That's got to be a foul. What's going on? Mioka, I don't know what is with Mioka. They're not that bad. Normally, I don't think. Just having one of those games. So you can see, he's absolutely out on his legs, isn't he? Nelly. No. Too many defenders. Going to get the three points. Very strange game, though. 100% um, worthy winners probably could have been a lot more goals if we were if we were bang on it like we were in the last match where we won 8-0 um, could have been even more than the 8 they'd been that bad that's a poor pass from Xerxes and that should be full time and it is very very comfortable win and 55% possession apparently they had two shots on target but really they did not threaten the goal whatsoever and man of the match, Zerg so Not really surprised he held up the ball a lot. He played very well. Mukdal getting a 4.5. Do not know where that's come from. And it is the end of the month, so we're going to have a look at the month stats there. As you can see, Martinelli, top of the goal scoring. Fabio Vieira and Carlos Pellas just by. That's a bit of a surprise, actually. Ruben Castro for massive 10 assists. That's absolutely amazing. Zerg up there as well. So you can really see that our actual centre forward, how important they are in terms of getting assists. 
Circusy, top of the average right wing, even with you know Martinelli coming in and Ruben Castro getting a lot of game time. But you can see top three players average rating wise Circusy, Castro, Martinelli. And of course, the matches themselves eight matches, eight wins, a couple of close ones in there, the likes of Getafe, Espanyol couple of close ones but then you've got the other matches where we're scoring four against athletic three against barcelona and a massive match there and the eight against st johnson was probably the highlight and we're now 13 points clear in the league so i think atletico madrid must have lost the last match and the next one we're playing well better so join us for that one thank you very much for watching hit that like button drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date and i'll see you all next time cheers